Hey folks, another play along video for you today. In this episode, we are covering Michael Turner's Waltz and Mount Hills. I believe they are both English tunes, although when you look at Michael Turner's Waltz, you will come across Mozart's use of it in one of his pieces of music. So maybe uh, English, Germanic, that one. This episode is also a very special episode because it is no longer just me you have to play along with. I've managed to get some musicians and friends involved so during all the backing tracks you'll get the chance to see them play and hear them play and hopefully that'll be a bit more interesting than just me on loads of different instruments although I will be there as well. Because we're playing two tunes in this episode to give people the chance to play a set i.e. a tune after the other in the following backing tracks we will have slow and fast tempos just to get you through each tune on its own and then we're going to try them together one after the other. Now one of our musicians playing along with us today is actually going to be my co-host for this episode that is Shoko on the violin. She's a great violin tutor and also Japanese tutor. I will link her up here hopefully I remember so you can go and check out her channel and subscribe to her. Now let's learn Mount Hills. Over to you Shoko. Okay Thank you, Charles. So now let's practice Mount Hills in slow tempo. Let's try with me. Again, so high two, high two, low two, low two. Okay, try and remember that when playing this. Thanks for that, Shoko. I hope you all found that useful and instructive. Be sure to keep an eye out for Shoko during the backing tracks. Okay, now that we have practiced Mount Hills, let's try a slightly faster backing track. anyone that has come from Cutie Pie's tutorial on the whistle for these tunes, welcome. I hope you're enjoying the music. Now let's go back to Shoko to talk us through 
Michael Turner's Waltz. Let's practice Michael Turner's Waltz. So this is in one, two, three, one, two, three. So make sure you play one, a little bit more of the weight, one, so So that you can dance, probably it works better with up bow and the first beat is down and the next part, this part is up down, up down. Okay, please bear in mind and please play with me. Thank you for that Shoko, I hope the viewers found that useful and helpful. Now that we have practiced Michael Turner's waltz, let's try it a little bit faster with a backing track. Now that we have learnt both Michael Turner's Waltz and Mount Hills at different speeds, we're going to put them together into a set. That means we'll play Michael Turner's Waltz through twice, and then we'll change to Mount Hills. Now in this set, just to make it a little bit more interesting and new for this final version, I decided to make Mount Hills swung. So if you feel that as you're playing, then great, play it swung. If you just want to carry on playing in straight rhythm, straight quavers, that will also still fit. So now let's enjoy a lovely slow arrangement of Michael Turner's waltz before jumping for joy in Mount Hills.
Thank you very much for watching and thank you to all those who took part in this video. Any new viewers from Shoko and Cute Pie, hello, I hope you stay and I hope you enjoyed the music. Links in the description as usual if you'd like more information or would like to get a copy of the backing tracks or the music. Also you'll find links for those that took part in this video to see more of them and hear more of their music. If you liked this video leave a like, if you didn't like it then a dislike or a comment even better. Let me know what you didn't like and I'll improve it for the next one. Stick around, subscribe for more music, more videos. Other than that, thank you very much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the music.